All right, everybody. I'm in Manhattan, New York, at the United States Postal Office. I'm actually performing my first First Amendment audit. This is the first video ever. I go by the name of Constitution Cowboy. You know, subscribe, like, and hit the follow button, man. I'm gonna have videos at least once a week, two to three videos a week. Uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Post office. Uh, let's see. Let's go in there. I'm actually gonna try to, you know, do business with them so they can't say that I'm not doing business, but we'll see what happens here. There's no signs here saying that we can't record in here. See what happens. Business. This is this is public, right? No, but it's better you can't. But is it is it open to the public? Do you do you understand that anywhere that's open to the public, you could actually bring a camera? If you're saying I can't record, what you gonna do about it? Yes, I am. You cannot record. Says who? Says the post office. It's better. You I got, I, I actually got permission. From who? The Constitution of the United States. Sir, you cannot record. Actually, yes, I could. Sir, you cannot record. It's either you turn it off. Yeah, you or you can record outside of the building, but you cannot record in here. I'm definitely recording. Sir. So what are we gonna do about it? We can call the cops. We can get that. I'll, I'll wait for them right here. I'll wait for them. I'm alright with that. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you'll learn a lesson, alright? No On the law. Okay. I'll make sure for them to tell you don't. Know? Okay. There's a constitutionally protected activity I'm doing. No need for you to get that. Get like that, man. You know, so, so yeah, 
This is what they do. Post office box. You cannot infringe on my right. Sir, you cannot record. Okay, I told you, call the police. Sir, I'm on the phone with the man. You cannot record. I will be here when they no, come. No problem. I will not run. No problem. Hello? I'm well in my right to record you. Tell them I'll be right here, right, when you call them. I'll be right out here. See, this is what they do, man. When most of them, they don't even know the law, you know? As long as it's accessible to the public, a camera could come with the public. And that's the problem with these people. That they think they could just, you know. Are they coming? They coming? Make sure they come. I ain't going nowhere. You realize at no moment did she tell me to leave the post office. What she told me is to stop recording, which is illegal. Let's wait for the police outside. So here we are, post office, man. This look like they failing. Let's just wait for these police to come. You, I'm, I'm not recording straight to the door, oh. man. <laughs> See what happens, man, because these people are, are, are tyrants, man. trying to tell me I can't record in a public, public lobby of the post office. I'm actually waiting to see where the car, they're gonna take a little while to get here anyway. Folks, I got the the sniffles right now, man. Runny nose. So bear with me. Like I said, this is actually my first video that I'm gonna post. See how this goes down with the police. If they respect my rights or they try to impede. Either way, I do not have ID on me, and I will not be giving them ID. I am prepared to go to jail for my rights. So, yeah, it's gonna be interesting because once again, I do not have any form of ID on me. So, 
Let's see what happens. police car coming could that be them very well could be very well could be I think we do have contact. We definitely do have contact. Is it? Yeah, definitely both cops coming out the car. I believe it was called on me. Yeah, I know. We know. I already saw you recording. All right. It was actually the, the other lady that called. She's over there. She called over there. Okay, we'll get it. All right. I just want you to let her know that what I'm doing is I'm well in my rights. You know, it's a public, public accessible. I don't. All right. I'm sorry. You're right. Thank you. It's like they're gonna respect my rights. What's the reason why you're recording? Uh, cause I want to record whatever I do. I actually have business here. I try to come and. Um, ask about the po about the PO boxes, and I also needed a box to ship something. She didn't even. It's all record. She didn't even give me a chance to say anything. She just came to me and really got irate, telling me I had to stop recording, which I know I don't have to because this is a public accessible lobby. You know, so the so, reason you're recording is because I want to record. Okay. That's you record why. everywhere you go. Why not? Is there a problem with no, that? No, it's not a problem. I'm just asking you. Do yeah, you I mean, yeah, yeah. I just need you to let them know that what I'm doing is actually not a crime and it's well, well within my rights. 
Because none of it, nothing would have happened if she would have just let me ask her the questions, get my box, and get out of here. It would have been nice and quiet in here. But, you know, she she got irate with me. Um, I am filming you. I am. I definitely am filming you. You must not know about the Constitution of the United States. Yeah, they actually, they actually, there was a memo in 2010. There was a memo in two, it, it ain't my, it ain't on me to get it. You're the officer. You're supposed to look that up. There was a memo in 2010 from from DHS. There was a memo. I could, I mean, come on. Why? Why? Why do I have to leave? I want to do business here. Nobody ever. They never told me I have to leave. What they told me is to shut. They did not say. I have it all in camera. They told me turn off the camera. I don't have to turn off the camera. This is my prerogative. All right, I'll call my supervisor over here. Yes, please, because it looks like you need a little schooling, too. All right. Look, it was her right here. Excuse me, excuse me. Um, you, you, you can look up um, DHS, um, Department of Homeland Security memo 2010, revised in 2018. The public is allowed to be anywhere, federal, state, as long as it is state or federal owned, we could go in the lobbies, the foyers, anywhere and record. And obviously she don't know that, and it looks like y'all don't know that either. And today she's gonna learn. If you realize everything was recorded, and I didn't say one word until you talk to me. This is the problem, you know? You realize, you realize you're making a false report because there's no crime committed here. Yeah, you're taking the officer's time from doing something else that they could be doing. Stopping other crime. I, I hope you would. I hope you would. But I'm pretty sure you just ride around and you'll find somebody doing something. You don't care about that, right? You just care about the cause. There is no situation here. She is making a false report. You supposed to call the cops when there's a crime committed or if I'm gonna commit a crime. I didn't call, I didn't commit a crime. I didn't, I was here nice and quiet until she talked to me and told me and try to uh, uh, infringe on my rights. She had tried to impede on my right to record in public. Try to de-escalate. No ma'am, I, I definitely understand that. But it's their job to de-escalate, not mine. I'm a, I am a citizen of the United States. And that's all I need. Look at her face. She thought they were gonna, she was going to make, make them stop me from recording. Should have just went about your day, man. How long that supervisor is going to take? As long as the conversation takes. Am I being detained? No, you can leave if you want. If I'm free to leave, I'm free. If I'm free to leave, I'm free to stay. Can I? Go ahead, ma'am. You're all right. You're, you're in the public, ma'am. You can do whatever you want. If I'm free to go, I'm free to stay. Make sure to tell the truth, because, you know, everything was recorded.
Ma'am, officer, I, I just want to let you know I'm not armed. I don't even got not even a, a, a pocket knife on me. The only thing I'm armed with is my career killer right here. I'm letting you know because it's that y'all cops sometimes it's kind of finicky, man, and y'all y'all ready to shoot somebody. I don't see your other hand. Yeah, but you could still tease the crap out of me. Ma'am, correct or, or not correct, at no time did you tell me to leave, right? At no time. You told me to stop recording. That's what you told me. I just want to make sure, you know, like I said, it's recorded anyway, so. And by the way, I do have written permission to be here. The Constitution of the United States. You can't, do not, do not touch me. Don't touch me. Don't put your hands on me. You cannot impede my, my, me from walking. You cannot impede me. Do not touch me. Don't touch me. I'm trying to tell you. I do not like to be touched. Don't touch me then and everything will be all right. Don't touch me and everything will be all right. There's no need to go follow her. I could, because I could. Don't, don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You see them. Look at them. They following me. You see them? Prevent him from creating a further incident. Can what incident? There's there? no incident. You were having an issue with this lady. Yeah, she had an issue with me. Okay, then she's going to, I'm preventing her from having so a further issue So I want to report her. Who, who's her? Who's her superior? I want her reported because okay. she's not supposed to tell me what I know I can't do. She don't know the law. She needs to, if she's going to try to enforce law, right, she right needs to really look up on it. So All right. I'm sorry, escalate. sir. Excuse me. You see how she stopped me from going over there? Like, what? 